Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the game between South Africa women versus India women, the tri series, and this is in the build up to the World Cup, the big T20 World Cup that's coming up soon. So, it will be interesting to see how the Indian women go in these conditions. And all of us are watching eagerly. So, first up, Nikhil Bhai, how do you think that this series is going to go and how important will it be for India in prep for the World Cup? Yes, because uh, it's so acclimatization ke liye isse better opportunity aapke paas hai nahi so very keen to see how the resources are used there are a couple of resources in the other world cup right now which i feel will definitely come back for india and uh, so let's see how that experience pans out kyunki do jo player bahar gaye they are very critical for yeah. india in this lineup we saw that in the games against australia as well so very interested to see the setup because there are a few players who i feel need to start hitting consistent form so very very interested to see also the return of shikha pandey very happy for her yes very interesting series that's coming your way and first up yep. let's look at the venue conditions so the game is going to be played at east london buffalo park and uh, keep in mind that this venue, whatever we have seen, there was an international game, South Africa, England men's game that happened in Feb 2020, where a lot of runs were scored. The openers from both teams prospered. Bavuma struck at 130 plus. Uh, Decock was scoring at 200. And uh, that strike rate was for reference, just to tell you that it, we expect another good batting track. But uh, that last last game was very, very long ago. So we'll have to watch out for what we get in terms of information pre-game because that will hold the key. Yes. Absolutely. If you look at that, you will see that one of the advantages of such games is that because a lot of these sides have a set number of star performers who are able to contribute with both bat and ball, so you will get a common base players from there. So it's a very good time to try out the leaderboards and everything because you can always rotate and make multiple combinations. Basis your assumption that the top two will go, the middle will go, or uh, somebody like a Sholitron could come in and have a, have fun. So, of course, lineups will be very, very critical. Who is playing in which role? In the first game, that trick is always going to be there. Yes, absolutely. So, now let's look at the base team for this one. Yeah. So first up in the keeping section, we have gone with Yastika Bhartia. Richa Ghosh is probably yet playing the under 19 World Cup, so not sure on our availability. And in the batting, we have gone with Sunil Luz, uh, Laura Bulwart, Harman Kaur, and Smriti Mandana. Because of good batting conditions, if you want to load up an extra batter, if we have that confirmation that conditions are better, then you can probably try Jemima too. But for now, we have gone safer with the all rounders in Marizan Cap, who will be a must have here. Glotrion, who bowls some left arm spin and will be helpful with her big hitting. Dipti Sharma for her off spin and hitting down the order. And Devika Vedya, who was very impressive against Australia, too. Bilkul, so here are some assumptions that what is Pooja fitness, ka kya hai, exact status. Wo. Uh, if she plays, definitely walks into the side. So, what Vedya is not playing, what is she playing, what is she playing. So, if it is a good batting, if it is a deck where batting conditions are good. So you will want to take people who can contribute in both in both fields as we go along with any other game. Because you game not so much in the game. And because there are enough quality options here, I think that is the safer way to go to start the first one at least. Yes, a lot of good quality all-round options. In fact, if Pooja is fit, plenty is also worth trying. And in the bowling, we have gone with Shabna Ismail and Shikha Pandey. Gaikwad is an equally good choice because spin will trouble South Africa, but totally depends on the conditions. For now, based on the conditions, Shikha will give you extra depth with the bat. And if there's any movement up front, then no one's better than her to extract that too. Bilkul, bilkul. Usme to I think koi doubt hai, sab hai, hai, waisa hai nahi. To jaise humne kaha, pehla game hai, thoda tricky hoga, sabhi ke liye. To post 11, definitely look at the roles. Jaise Shabnam Ismail ka role, we know what she does, power play and then at the back end, if there is Shikapande movement, hota, to shoot mein dal ki so you have to see and figure out ke kaun options hai, uh, for the later half as well. And then see how it goes and then make your changes accordingly. Yes, absolutely. And what will dictate your picks in this game will be the number of bowling options that both teams yes. go out on the field with. If you see that there are four or five bowling options, then you can easily sideload more on the bowlers and all-rounders. But if you're seeing multiple options and if conditions are actually good for batting, 
then batting might be the way to go along with a mix of all-rounders. And now let's look yeah. at the Grand League option for this game. So I'll get my Grand League options out of the way before we have another blooper moment like the last <laughs> video. So first up from uh, India and both these Grand League options are not in terms of picks. I'm talking about them as captain and vice captain because they're probably going to be in everyone's team. Rajeshwari mm-hmm. Gaikwad, who I feel like even if conditions are helpful to batting, I think she'll be able to find her way. And again, I'm backing the role more than the player because of the matchups against mm-hmm. the opposition. So whether it's Rajeshwari Gaikwad or any other left-arm spinner who finds a spot in the team, I think they'll be able to do well against South Africa. So that's my first pick. Second pick is Claude Trion. Again, if dimensions are short and if it's good for batting and she's not going to come out when there's going to be any movement. So all of that sits in her favour. And you can expect a strong finish and some good left arm spin from her too. So these are my two picks for this game. Bilkul, dekhe, fair call hai. Aur, uh, dek, jo unne kaan, same hai, bhi logic. Uh, ek player mere bhi based. Mere touch bhi dono based team ka hai hai. So it is Shikha Pandey because I feel she's very good at what she does. And I expect her to be hungry for success or wo use karengi. Agar conditions waisi hai, to definitely uh, unne bilkul try karna chahiye as your captain option and us regards then you have to drop players from the opposition accordingly or fir bhi agar wo hota hai to bhi ek player mujhe lagta hai wahan pe jo bahut class player hai wo hai laura bulwart to of course unka spot kaun sa hai wo important hai but i feel she is a vital player for uh, south africa to come good or humne 100 mein bhi dekha tha she played some really good knocks to to start with i'm going with more uh, experienced options but yes game jaisa hai conditions jaisi hai Yes, absolutely. It will be very, very interesting to see how the game goes. Ensure that you do tell us in the comments who your yeah. Grand League picks from this game are. One from India, one from South Africa. And apart from that, we hope all of you have a great game. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And in case you get any previews of how the pitch or how the conditions are looking like, ensure that you tell us too. Because with these games, we see that coverage is a huge issue. But with the women's game game going forward at such a fast pace, we hope that this is the start for something new. And hopefully that it's India winning the first one. So have a great game and all the good luck to all of you. Cheers. See you soon.